Uh, a couple of other things that were announced, not necessarily by the Chancellor, but by the Treasury in the budget notice, what were really issues that had already been announced in the winter package last year. Uh, specifically, the extension of the VAT deferral system. Uh, you will recall that businesses uh, had the opportunity to defer the payment of VAT last year for VAT returns up to the 30th of June. Uh, and that was, uh, the VAT had been deferred, was due to be paid in one lump sum on the 31st of March this year. Uh, the Treasury have announced, and again, it's been confirmed in the budget today, that businesses can take advantage of a further deferral where the amount that was not paid last year can be repaid in 11 monthly instalments uh, from March 2021. Now, I would just flag that uh, that's not a, an automatic process and businesses need to apply to use the further deferral system. Uh, and that application process opened on the 23rd of February and will close in June this year. So businesses that want to take advantage of that deferral uh, should make sure that they apply uh, and get authorization to do so from HMRC. Uh, a couple of smaller issues that we've seen, the, the VAT registration threshold uh, will remain at £85,000 uh, until at least 2023-2024, uh, and the Treasury consider that will give businesses certainty in terms of the VAT position over the next couple of years. And then a, a couple of final uh, measures uh, that were announced. There will be a new interest and penalty regime uh, for late payment of VAT and late submission of VAT returns from the 1st of April 2021. We, we expect further detail about that, but fundamentally they're moving on to a points system where businesses will only be penalised now once they've breached the points threshold, rather than the current situation where we sometimes see disproportionate fines or penalties for what can be sometimes quite small VAT errors. And then finally, uh, HMRC will be given new powers to penalise businesses who use electronic sales suppression software to either hide or reduce the value of their sales, and obviously therefore the tax liabilities that they're due to pay to HMRC. Uh, so again, we expect further detail about that, but, but that will be introduced as of 1st of April 2021 as well. So, so as I say, in context, I think from a VAT perspective, it's, it's relatively straightforward. I think my view is that over the next two or three budgets, we'll start to see uh, what, each, uh, what the government would consider to be the dividend coming out of Brexit in terms of being able to free themselves from the EU VAT rules uh, and introduce UK specific provisions that will allow them to increase the VAT take. But, but the budget today, I think, was relatively light touch.